everybody, welcome back to the Nerd Gaming Channel, I'm Harbinger50, and this is a quick instructional video for anybody who is upgrading their external hard drive on the Xbox One. I had a nice little Seagate 2 terabyte um, external hard drive, the, the portable USB 3, so you have no extra power cable, really nice. Um, been working great, but I have run out of room. Uh, if you're a gold member, you know you get all these free games all the time, and between that and certain games like Call of Duty... Um, they fill up the hard drive pretty quick. So I upgraded to a 5 terabyte because I found a good deal on like, what was it, Newegg I think, for like 120, 130 bucks uh, for a 5 terabyte. And I wanted to move all my game content off of this one onto the new one. And of course, if you know anything about Xbox, if you've tried this before, your only option to do this is to move it one game at a time. There is no way that I have seen let's see here that uh, yeah there, there is no way to move all your games through the Xbox interface here in, in one shot like you have to do game by game by game which I guess if you wanted to be patient you could just do it as you got to each game like as you were playing them like if you're playing Banjo-Kazooie. Okay, let's move that one today. And then you just wait. But if you want to do them all and not have to wait the next time, there is a way to do it, but not on Xbox. So, I'm going to show you how I found out how to do that. So I need to stop recording on Xbox. Because I was just showing you that one part. Let's switch back to the PC here. Alright, so there is a program... And if you look at my screen, hopefully this is getting captured correctly. You've got the Xbox One Drive Converter. And it can be found at this location. Let's see. Where is my recording screen? Aha, it is. It's right there at the top. Right there. And they got the download right here. And he's got quick instructions on how to use it. So, if you don't feel like reading and you prefer watching video tutorials... This is the video for you. Um, what you do, you take your drive. Ah, I'm gonna have to unplug, undo the headphones here. Not that I need them right now. Plug it into you. Bleh, plug it into your PC on a USB three port, and it will show up in Data Manager. See, there's a problem with this drive. It doesn't know how to read it because it's in an Xbox format. So you open this thing up. And we say yes. And then you do a scan. And where are my other drives at? Huh, that's weird. This thing's acting funny. It has had some weird quirks about it. Um, it should be showing all my hard drives right now, but it's not. Why? So anyway, you see this one I've already moved into PC mode, and it showed up over here. And these are all the game files. So you got 77 gigabytes. That is probably Call of Duty. Um, there's one that says Community Calendar. And then you got all these. These smaller ones, I guess... Or maybe like save file games or something like that. Um, not exactly sure, but I just copied everything. What you do is when you first plug it in and you run this tool, it's going to show it in Xbox mode. So what you do is you right click here, you go to enable PC mode, you unhook it. So I'll, I'll switch it. And you see it says Xbox mode. Um, they say to eject the uh, hard drive and then put it back in which I did you do it do it the proper way eject with the USB safely remove after you make the switch then you can plug it back in and it'll be able to be read and then you'll have two drives showing all the data or you'll have your one drive and your new drive and you can just copy over and I had almost filled this thing up. I was at like 1.7 terabytes out of the 2 terabytes and it took about 5 hours to copy everything over to the new drive but then I was able to switch it back to Xbox mode plug it in everything was there. So 
that is really all it is. It's just copy and paste from one drive to your new drive. Use the Xbox Drive Converter to switch it into the mode you need. PC mode for copying, then back to Xbox mode for plugging it into the Xbox and being seen with all the games. So, there you go. Hope that helps you out. If you like the video, go ahead and give it a like on YouTube. Give it an upvote on VidMe. Be sure to share it because there are a lot of videos out there on showing you how to move one game at a time. And I'm sure there's people that want to know how to do this instead. So be sure to share it. And of course, questions, comments, suggestions, and trolling in the section below. And you will see me in my next video. Peace.